Today I'm going to show you one simple trick that you can do inside your smart contract to save gas. This works both for Solidity and Viper, but in this video I'll be using Solidity as an example. The key idea behind this trick is that access to memory is cheaper than access to storage. For example, let's say that we have some state variable. Here we'll call it some storage data. And inside the function we access this storage value. So inside this function, every time we say some storage data, we are accessing the data inside storage. On the other hand, we also have a variable called some memory data, and this data lives inside the memory. And accessing this data will be cheaper than accessing this data over here. If you have some background in web development, then you would know that accessing data inside a database is slower than accessing the data inside memory. Basically, this is what is happening over here as well. So the trick to saving gas here is reducing the number of access to data stored on the storage. And we can do that by caching storage data onto memory. So this is the basic idea behind this gas saving trick. Let's put this into a more concrete example. Here I've created a state variable called n, which we will access multiple times. I've created a function called noCache. Inside this function, we will run a loop and accessing this state variable n. And what I do inside the for loop doesn't really matter, but for this example, I'm just adding numbers. The important part is here, that I am accessing a storage data multiple times. Since n is equal to five, in this case, it will access it five times. To show you how much gas we can save by caching this state variable n, I've created another function called cache. It basically does the same thing, with a very little difference from the code above. The only difference is here. Before we run the for loop, we are caching the state variable n into memory, and inside the for loop, we're accessing data inside the memory. So inside the function no cache, we're accessing the state variable n multiple times, whereas inside the function cache, we're only accessing it once, and for the rest of the function, we're accessing a value inside memory and not storage. And that is the only difference between these two functions. Okay, let's run this code and I'll show you that this version of the function saves gas. So I deploy the contract and let's run through these examples. First, we'll call the function no cache. And then check our gas usage. If you look over here for the execution cost, it used 7,109 gas. Now let's call the function cache. And when I check the gas usage, it used up only 3,100 gas. So the function cache used 4,000 less gas than the function no cache. I've executed the functions using different values for n. So let's take a look. For n equals 10 for the no cache function, it used up 9,780 gas. Compare that with the cache function for n equals 10, it used only 1,771 gas, which is about one fifth the no cache version. So here we're saving about 80% of gas. And you can see similar savings for bigger numbers as well. Now, realistically, you'll probably be running the for loops at most 100 and on average between five to 10 times. So you will probably observe a gas savings in the order of thousands. Okay, so that was a quick video about a gas saving trick that I recently learned. And the trick is to load your state variables into memory. Thanks for watching.